your hero push strategy, and then you, you finish the Spectre, which fits into your fight. It doesn't really fit into the push. Spectre adds nothing to the push, but it fits into your early fight. Ninja Boogie did mention as well that, if possible, he would always like to play with DJ again. He's always looked up to him, saying that he's such a beast. He's also very dumb when it comes to working. Right, Ohio has been taking quite a number of lasses, so Jules is going to chase him down. Jules is actually really low, and DJ comes up the wrap around and charges. First blood going away Fnatic, as they will try to kill Mighty Saber in this pick. Benton is really not picking those trade those hits, as DJ is going to find Jules again in charges. Really has a lot of hate for Jules, harassing him all the way. And um, must be said, the one is up far oh, he's gonna kill him. Ben Hur, one more right click, he's gonna get the kill. And the cast is gonna come a bit too late, Radiant Plato, and they're gonna go for a stun 3 for 3. They wanna find Jules, do they have the right clicks for just one more? Yes, they will. And Chandra's DJ finding himself another kill. 3 for 0 and we 9 We established of Southeast Asia mid lane, and he must come through me. KMMR. So that's something I mean, uh, three for three. Yeah, and his nickname is Mid One. You know, he is the number one captain of Eventful Spirit. This is a match weaker lane than a Nature's Cup and a Nexus mm -hmm. Assassin. Cool. Spectre's Impale. gonna struggle, and he is struggling. He's got hardly anything. They're gonna try to kill him, actually. Oh, I think they can. <coughs> three is coming around. They're going on the Raging Potato to get a stun up at the same time. Net. Going to be very, very close. Who's gonna fall first? It is. It's gonna be the Raging Potato. His net just runs all the way into the trees. The tree following him. Jesse Bash trying for the Blind Impale. Not gonna connect. And. Alright, so to get a bit of damage done to this tower, it's already below 50% HP, and I believe Net still has some regen? Yeah, he still has some tangos. Yeah, it's, it's and this is enough point for the Malaysians for sure, because this is like a big art play. They were getting oh. hugely out combo. Speaking of a point for the Malaysians, even though it's going to be their Pinoy player, it's, it's going to be mid one getting another kill in the mid lane, and Fnatic was definitely taking a big lead here, 5 to 0 to start at this game and this I mean I mid one okay he took a lead we understand it but okay Net is in trouble again and they want revenge they they feel like they should be winning this lane and Raging Potato just doesn't doesn't give up after the first unsuccessful attempt and now they're gonna try and get three four three as well I don't think they can. Oh this is actually Jesse Vash puts up the carapace just a bit too early trying to deny himself to the crease but no net 343 is meaning not net 343 is gonna get the last just constantly pushing out this lane and oh middle lane maybe you'll see a bit of action here the smoke does be break mid one taking a lot of damage to chains and the defensive astro and person be saving him for now but the four heroes here and he wants to save it mid one pops the very fire but nah he just gets a couple of hot shots in that might be a the sort of the death wish but oh, they're doing it anyways here comes dj and the hot follow god they want to go straight to support the family jules ohio and being in immediately and Death Pop is going to find a 3 for 3 immediately and chances to come back kill. It's going to be a 1 for 1 as Ben has taken a lot of shots of mid one and Beastmaster will get the last click. They want to go and Mighty Saving who does not have mana, no remnants at all. And yeah, he's going to be so slow. He's just going to die here and the remnants. I just won before he died. It's going to be a 3 for 1 trade. So the mana burn, he's like ahead of his stun despite being a support next to Sass and just showing what he's in this game for. And at the top lane, Raging Potato is probably going to die now. Oh, maybe yeah, not quite. Like TP. Oh, no, the f oh, that was just great timing for mid one. Such a spoiler, and the potato will be just destroyed by mid one. Who can another kill? And his drums on. And we do see a, a smoke up on Jesse Vash the mid lane. Nix assassin. Jesse Vash plus Ben Ho trying to go for a kill. This is not a level six Nix yet though, and Spectre's gonna haunt actually and scout this out. I think it's a. Yeah, they're going into the kills themselves in the mid lane. So high wrapping round gets the roll. They make the kill on the Ember Spirits, and Dyer's they try to get the DP as well. Uh, it's Charger's gonna chase. Odie gonna chase, and I think that last hit might just not. DP gets out, and Odie actually goes down. Looks like DP will die to Spectre's dagger on the back end, and now everyone's on the streets. Jesse Vash's next goes down. It's gonna be a three for one trade overall. Fnatic. Only lose mid one's OD and they kill. Hey, and item progression's coming along just fine. They're hitting the timings, but the only thing which they're lacking right now is the, just these objective towers. Oh, and the Spectre, they actually get a kill on the Nyx Assassin? That's his drop. Very close, this is gonna be like a full on fight here. Spectre has the haunt at the ready. Smoke is gonna break the The haunt is gonna give them the vision in it, and you're gonna go straight on Ben here before he gets the Nyx off. He's just gonna die immediately with the death roll coming out. Jules, the next casualty of war as Mighty Saber running out of fire, taking a bit too many hits from this OD, and they're gonna keep on chasing Jesse back. The next one down three, four, oh, and it'll be end of that. To work, they'd be in trouble. Death probably is near them, she doesn't fight well from behind. Ember Spirit can, Ember Spirit can get big and get in the but if your plan to stay in the game from early to late is nature's problem.
but right now they're looking for a bit of a comeback kill here. They need something, anything. This is a very desperate smoke after the oh, the sun's coming out. Really still keeping an impale too, but they're taking a bit too many coconuts to the face, not what he wants. And here comes the Ember, nice sharing train catching on the two. Mid one takes the call a bit low. He has the ages, so this is where the rest of the planet comes in. You're gonna go for the swap, but no one doesn't save him, and Joe's gonna get roared down. Now the Aegis is gonna get top mid one. He's gonna click on Ben Hill, which still has the exorcism. Mid one really, really getting a bit too low here. As Ben Hill, oh, mid one, nice inhale from Jesse Bash. As DJ is gonna keep chasing down the Raging Potato. One more impetus. Actually, no, the access will get to him first, so it's gonna be a 3 for 1. As they lose the Aegis and Joe, DJ wants a bit more blood, Ben Hill. Still hasn't used an exorcism, he really wants to use it for the push as the mighty savior dies quick on from the death drop, it's gonna be a 4 for 1, including the Aegis. Single handedly push out of the waves and keep in the game longer, but it also denies the other heroes from getting the bomb they need to come back. Oh, middle lane, they're going on a higher path, this time up to start to fight the death ward itself. Yeah, he needs the roll, but the silence is beautiful, and here comes Net haunting in, going straight for Jules, and Chantos and Venge getting themselves a kill each. And mighty savior roared, he's gonna get healed up with the earth. As mighty savior, no, oh, you do not get any comeback, so it's gonna be a theory for nothing. It's fanatic, they will. Same time, I mean, the way they, right now, Mighty Savior is playing. Oh, we're actually going to go for another smoke. Is this going to be another fight? The last time we saw this from Mineski, they somehow won the fight. Let's see whether they can repeat it. Speed. This ran out of the top of this time in his career. And this is going to be popping a nice two man in pale. Midland's going to just melt. The six is going to get some another kill. And it's a kill streak on Ohio. They're going to fight 3 for 3 as well. Mineski somehow doing this. Guys, he's not running away anywhere. It's going to be a 3 for nothing. They do get the top T1, but Mineski, they win the fight. Well, he can take all of the mana from the OG. That's, that's <laughs> zero mana. OG, two mana burns. Pretty good. Balance. Sorry, Potato almost TP and fake it. If they get a glimpse of. Oh, here comes Radiant Potato. This is going to be so good. Oh, the roar. And the heart of the is set to be a disaster. Right here, as the stun comes down, the Raging Potato. The Impale's going to catch 3 for 3, so no defensive swap. The Potato is very, very low. Will he be the first one down? Yes. Back burn. And it looks like they will turn around as Fnatic, it's a trap. Maybe they'll find Jules here, do they have the stun? Yes, they'll know the swap to cancel the TP, so Jules is going to be the next one dead. It's going to be a 3 for 0, as Fnatic, they run for the hills. Too. Because Enchantress being nearby, then there's 3 of them, Spectre the wants them, and then 4 of them, and the numbers are even, only even didn't take that long to get there. So you really have to be careful, anytime you start a fight against a team that has a Spectre, He's only continuing to just swell bigger and bigger this game because Mineski. I mean, you, you still think they can have, wait another crew? He has been sniped? What? <laughs> this is not fair at all, honestly. I'm looking at this and he's barely moving. I thought he was going to be able to get another buff. Yeah, is like taking a break. Not in a way that. As I've said time and time again, it's gonna reduce the, the pace at which the other fours catch up, and so you're gonna see DP and Ember right, behind. Yeah, he's gonna try and rack the potato, and he's just gonna burn down on this tree. It's global warming thanks to him. And the heart, he's gonna pop it anyway. He's gonna have to fight. Ben is gonna pop that BKB. He's gonna get right clicked down by the Spectre immediately at 3 for 3, falling very low into the event. Smith gonna save him. The Sprout keeping mid one there, but I don't think he might. The horse moves his agent and BKB. He's just gonna go with her. No, just destroyed the roar and charges with double kill. And Nicholas Assassin is forced to buy back. And mid one's 10 second BKB expires just about now. Oh, they're really, really gonna nice five seconds now. They wanna go. They wanna fight again. They have no hope. Yeah, it was really nice from Fnatic, they, they pretended to be backing off the things they do and they smoked, came forward, swapped in the DP and get a free kill to start the fight. This is gonna be another melee lane of Rax. Nice and pale, catching mid one, but doesn't really... Oh, now it makes pages <laughs> that eat the that cast reach. It will just back off net. And then he shoots as well, but he does have the completed Manta style. So, out the Raging Potato alone. Who is in the middle lane T2? Who's gonna get the tower? Probably. It's not worth it, you have to back off. You already bought back by 3 3 with the swap and the stunts. Everything's gonna be thrown on Raging Potato. This is it. Yeah, and I've, I've seen this, reading this drop as often as not, he gets punished for them and it costs his team as much as it would have helped them. Oh, he finds Jesse Bash. Despite the senses, Jesse Bash just wandering a bit too close to Ohio. Don't think he knew he had the gem, or he probably thought he was outside the range. Then he's gonna pop the exorcism, but there is no buyback on the Ninja's Prophet or the Ninja's Assassin. Hoping that this force summon back is mid one, but quite a bit of damage really falling to half HP. He does not have the agent. The BKB is gonna get top, but Ben is gonna get destroyed. No pop, he just has to just take time. And there we go. Oh, Spectre's gonna go with the Haunt and destroy everyone else. And Brisprit gets the OD thanks to Cleaves, but 
I don't think we still. Okay, we have a roll in 40 seconds. Mighty Save is gonna try and keep everyone down. Barnabur did to get a swap. Oh wait, it's on cooldown. But it's on cooldown. Mighty Save is very low. And just pop it. TPing in, can you get it through for you? That is so YOLO. Respawn, skip it to the back line and die. That's. I mean, sure, he gets a kill that time, but I guess they decided the game's over at that point. Fnatic did take the first game, and I want to say extremely convincing stuff. For me, still the most impressive thing about Fnatic this game is that they made the decision for Spectre to have a difficult game at the beginning of the game, and they understood that this is a hero that if he gets levels, can get involved and catch up very easily, and that's exactly what happened this game. So they end up just getting more value because their other lanes were prioritized, but Spectre got a lot of value as soon as they started fighting. Maybe, you know, he's just trying to TP and kill a courier compendium. I mean, we still have a couple more days before the compendium ballot anymore. So he's doing it for hero challenges, like courier snipes. But anyways, what a